Hello everyone, this is DJ Dimaliwat and sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin kung magkano nga ba talaga ang kinikita ng isang real estate agent. Hey, paano nga ba kumikita? Ano ba yung kailangan? Di ba? Para kumita ka rito ng legal. Number one, kailangan mo lang mamili Pag-usapan natin yung two things. Either connected ka sa isang developer that's a real estate company na nagbebenta ng mga projects nila or isang broker. Now, ito yung licensed real estate broker na pwedeng mag-employ ng isang real estate agent. So, pag developer ka, para kang empleyado. No? So, hindi sweldo ang tawag nila. Eh. Meron silang allowance plus commission. Yung allowance mo, yun yung panggalaw mo kasi alam natin medyo matagal lang commission although malaki, um, kailangan mo ng panggalaw. So, may allowance ka, pero meron kang kota. Pag hindi mo na-meet yung kota, nawawala rin yung allowance. No, may time in at time out. Merong manager na nagmo-monitor sa'yo. So, maganda rin yung training talaga. Yun nga lang, para kang employee sa nagsisimula. But, you know, for people who are really um, serious, maganda rin yun. No, I've interviewed Richard Carvajal in one of my uh, my episodes ng Project Six Figures. Sabi niya, sa, sa company niya, gusto niya galing in-house. Kasi na-train na ng maigi. Iba yung training na binibigay ng broker. So, that's good. No? You can also do that. Pwede kang pumatok sa isang developer, you can start with that. Or, kung ayaw mo naman na nakatali, let's say, gusto mo, you're really free, um, or you do you wanna do this part-time, then pwede kang maghanap ng isang licensed real estate broker. Now, pag licensed real estate broker, wala ka lang allowance, kasi yun nga, you're doing it part-time. Pwede may iba kang negosyo, then you're doing this, or you're employed, and then you're doing this, and then you still get commission. Walang kota, unless mag-set ng kota yung company na pupuntahan mo or yung broker mo, walang time in and time out. Although, syempre, expected namin, katulad ko, pupunta ka rin ng opisina, nagkikita tayo, nakita namin yung commitment mo kasi yun yung kailangan para makabenta. Um, so, magkano nga ba yung commission ng isang real estate agent? Um, um, ang based on my experience, nag-average siya from 2% to 3%. Yun yung average. Minsan may nagbibigay ng mas mababa sa 2%, Minsan may nagbibigay ng higher than 3% probably to um, palakihin yung team niya, ganyan. But usually, around 2% to 3% is really the industry standard. And yan yung normal. No? Like sa amin sa Driven, tumataas yung rank. Kasi gusto namin, the more experience you have, tsaka ka magbibigay ng 3%. Hindi naman agad, <clears throat> gusto namin i-give away mo na lang din kagal. We want you to earn that. Parang ganon. So, uh, and kung ikaw po ay isang buyer at nanonood ka nito, uh, I will make sure, uh, I want to tell you na well, do not deal with colorum no yung hindi siya collected sa developer or sa isang broker para at least alam mo mas legal ito di ba and meron kang iba pang taong pwedeng tumulong sa iyo in case mawala tong agent na to ang problema kasi minsan sa mga ahente lalo na in the past no kaya nasira minsan yung pangalan ng mga agents uh, yun nga minsan either tinatakbo yung pera or walang iba nang tumutulong pag hindi tumagal sa industry Diba? So, make sure lang na you deal with either direct sa developer or meron silang company na broker. Now, that's that's na number one na dapat natin pag-usapan. Ngayon, um, kailan nakukuha yung commission? Maybe you might be asking, okay, malaki yung commission, 2 to 3%. Let's say, uh, nakabenta ng 10 million, 3%, that's 300,000 less tax. So, talagang daan-daan libo yan, pwede per unit. Diba? Um, pero, gano ba, gano ba kadali lang kumita sa real estate? Ang sagot ko, depende. Diba? Depende yan sa paying period. no? Kung yung paying period mo, spot cash ka agad, and then probably after one month or two months, depende sa processing ng developer, makukuha mo ka agad yung commission mo. Diba? Less taxes. Kung yan naman ay yung for sale by owner, pag naayos mo yung processing, probably babayaran ka na rin nung, nung owner. No? But usually, dapat dumaan din sa isang broker. no? Pag magbibenta kayo ng bahay, as much as possible, kunyari, salili yung bahay, dapat talaga may broker. Kasi mas mas meron kang legal personality na pwedeng habulin just in case lang magkaroon ng problema, di ba? So uh, laging depende sa paying period. Kung naman ang ang binebenta mo ay pre-selling, let's say may mga 3 years to pay or even 4 years to pay, 5 years to pay sa mga condominium, ang commission po ng real estate agent, o tayo tayo lang din nakukuha. May mga developers pa nga na nagbabayad lang upon loan take out. Na walang nakukuha ang mga ahente at ang mga broker during the down payment period makukuha mo lang siya kapag fully paid na. So, medyo matagal din. But mostly naman, mostly naman, unti-unti, small portions may nakukuha during the down payment, pang tulong, pang galaw, 
pag na full na yung down payment, kunyari 2 years or 3 years, although ngayon mas mahaba yung down payment period. Pero pag na full na yon, let's say kalahate or 60%, sometimes 40% ng buong commission na kukuha nila. But the big chunk talaga na nakukuha ng ahente yung commission is upon loan take out. Meaning yung ni loan sa banko or sa pag-ibig or to any financial institution na bayaran yung developer or yung may-ari ng bahay. Tapos, tsaka lang siyempre, 100% kunya ako yung seller, 100% na ako na nabayaran dahil yung utang, yung inutang na ibigay na sa akin. Tsaka lang ako magbibigay ng full commission. So, wag din kayong matakot no, na iiwan na kayo ng mga agents nyo kasi pag hindi niya man nila ginawa yung trabaho nila, hindi rin nila makukuha talaga yung kita nila. So, win-win yan eh. Diba? The, yung rightful real estate agent talaga na tumatagal sa industry at talagang maganda nagsiserve, kumikita ng malaki, are those people who really understand that they have to serve their clients really well. Hanggang makalipat, hanggang ma-approve yung loan. Yun yung goal natin. So that's the second thing. No? Uh, yung hindi basta-basta na makukuha ang commission, so kung disidito ka rito maging part ng real estate industry, dapat you really have the heart to serve your clients. That's just, you know, just make money. Kasi kung pera-pera lang, hindi mag ganun kabilis ang pera rito. Malaki ang kita. No? Pero you really have to work for it and really serve more people. Dapat nasa puso mo yung tumulong. No, so, uh, third thing, magkano ba nga yung kinikita? Do, sabi nga natin, mga 2 to 3%. So, I'll just show you a few uh, a few people, hindi natin ito papangalanan, but in our company, nag-pick lang ako ng random people na kumikita. No, so, uh, some of our top producers or top earners before, kasi posibleng wala silang benta last year, pero may kinita sila kasi tsaka lang lumabas yung pera. No? So, ganun sa, ganun sa real estate. Uh, one of the sellers, nag-join siya noong 2013, he's very active. More than 2 million yung kinita siya sa isang taon noong 2019. Lahat ng cheque, lahat ng pera ang kinita niya from the company. Another one, merong 2017, kumita siya ng 1.7, almost 1.8 million. Bago-bago lang din siya sa industry. After 2 years, kumikita na siya ng 1.8 million. So baka gusto mo rin yan, ng ganyan. Yan yung potential. No? Pag talagang seryoso ka sa industry at tumutulong ka, ginagawa mo yung kailangan mo. Meron din naman, sobrang part-time lang siya. Nag-join ng 2012. Pero hanggang ngayon, kumikita siya kahit part-time, 780,000, almost 1 million, sometimes 1 million a year. Meron din nag-join ng 2016, nag-start sa company, ngayon kumikita ng 741,000. Yun yung kinita niya last year. And then there's another one, bago lang siya, 2018 nag-start, um, tapos wala masyadong benta, nag-pick up yung benta last year. Siyempre hindi niya pa na-commissionan. In fact, siya yung top seller namin last year kumita siya ng 617,000. So if you've noticed, kahit siya yung top seller, hindi siya yung pinakamalaki yung kinita simply because yung mga commission hindi pa agad dumarating on the same year. Ganon siya. Pero ngayon, tuloy-tuloy siya. So ang maganda pa rin dito, kung minsan titignan mo, ay, ganun pala, ang tagal pala ng pera. No? Pero on the other side, katulad ngayon, I'm recording this during the lockdown, parang may savings ka. So minsan, pag may nakolekta na commission, kahit wala kang benta, may darating na pera. So ako tinitignan ko yung mga commission na parating pa lang as savings. Kung tutulugan mo yung buyer mo at talagang nagbinenta mo magandang property, di kikita ka talaga. Diba? Nagkakaroon ka ng savings, makukuha mo yung pera mo. So, ganun ang sistema ng, ng negosyo ng real estate. Sometimes naman, yun nga, yung mga for sale by owner, yung direkta, meaning bahay ko, binenta ko, for example, may broker, may agent, um, Medyo lower than 2 to 3% yun kasi for example, ang pinaghatian, 5%. Tapos hinati pa sa dalawang broker yun. So yung broker ng seller at broker ng buyer, sito 2.5. Tapos kung may ahente pa, another hati pa yun. But minsan may mga tao at ahente yun ang gusto kasi posibleng mas mabilis no? pag na-approve na, na yung loan ng banko uh, at na-process nila yung dokumento na ilipat. Uh, may, of course, nakakabayaran na. So probably you don't need to wait 5 years man lang. One year or less na ayos yung transaction pag nakabenta ka. So, you might be asking, no, sunod nating pag-usapan, ano ba yung sikreto, DJ? Ano ba yung pwede kong gawin, kailangan kong gawin para ma-make sure ko na maging successful ako sa industry na to? Maybe ikaw na sa real estate ka na or you're trying to enter the industry, you're starting out or matagal ka na rin dito but you're struggling, ano ba yung sikreto? Actually, wala namang sikreto. Um, ang lagi kong sinasabi when I train real estate agents, 90% of your time should be dedicated in prospecting. Kasi, in reality, yung bahay, yung condo, bibilihin siya ng tamang kliyente. But kailangan mong, you have to find the right buyer. ba? You have to find the buyer that is capable at magugustuhan niya, tamang fit siya dun sa, sa project. 
di ba? So, kailangan mo talagang mag-spend ng time, mag-prospect, maghanap ng kliyente, online and offline. No, paano yan? Pag offline, yung mga kakilala mo, mag-offer ka. Online, nag ads ka sa Facebook, kaya one property, mga property portal, ganyan, gawa ka ng sarili mong website, pwede kang gumawa ng YouTube video, di ba? So, I would always tell na mag-focus ka lang one to three projects. I-treat, kung nasa broker ka, i-treat mo na para ka in-house, limited projects. Di ba? Kasi ang hirap ng marami ka masyadong dala, hindi mo master yun. Hindi mo rin masaserve ng tama yung kliyente mo. So, but you focus on prospecting, i-goal mo na ikaw yung maging pinakamagaling at pinakamaraming benta dun sa project na yun. So, hanap ka talaga ng, ng kliyente. And part of the prospecting is giving value to the audience in order to gain trust. Meaning, connect with them, di ba? Try, try your best out. You can serve them and help them. And at the same time, if you're online, post mga blogs na magaganda, shoot a video if you would like na magbe-benefit talaga sila. Not just, just to show the property, hindi lang mga picture, but something na makakatulong sa nagahanap ng bahay or mapaganda yung bahay nila. Take this to a next level. And I'm sure if ginawa mo yan, magiging top producer ka. Diba? Of course, network with people, serve your clients well, ask for referrals. Still, that's prospecting. Eh. No, basta always have in mind, madali magbenta ng property if you are talking to the right buyer. Of course, dapat knowledgeable ka. So you continuously train yourself in terms of the economy. Kasi real estate is always the barometer of any economy in any country. Diba? So dapat updated ka. No, para you're really giving value to your client. You're not just a, an agent na nagbebenta. Diba? So give updates to them, the construction updates, diba? always deal with good developers or good owners, yung mapagkakatiwalaan. No? Continuously educate and update them. I always say 5% of people will buy now pag nag-inquire. 95% will buy later. So pag may mga nag-inquire sa'yo or nakausap mo at hindi bumili, wag mo silang itapon at kalimutan or sungitan or i-unfriend mo na. Diba? Hindi ganon. Kung ikaw nga naghahanap ka ng property, probably hindi ka rin agad bibili. Or kung naghahanap ka ng laptop or cellphone, hindi ka naman agad sa una mong tindahan, bibili ka na kagad, di ba? Mag-scout ka muna eh, di ba? Um, so, maganda, ganun din malamang yung buyer, lalo na sa property. This is usually, they only buy property once, di ba? So, meaning, pag nakuha mo na sila, probably you get their email or your their number, you update them once in a while, give value, hindi puro benta. Right? And lastly, you might be asking, DJ, Excited talaga ako to be part of the real estate industry. Gusto ko rin kumita ng malaki. Paano ba ako magiging agent? So, um, yeah, either you talk to a developer, magpa-employ ka, or may kakakala kang manager sa isang developer, be part of their team, that's one. Or you can look for a broker. Basta make sure lang, legit yung company. No? Um, maganda may opisina. Kasi para pag ano man yung mangyari, may pupuntahan ka. Diba? Marami kasi akong nakilalang nasa real estate, nagpasok sa kaibigan or kakilala. Agon, wala akong tinitira. No? Pero minsan, pag nagpasok ka lang sa tao at dumating na yung commission, di mo na sila makita. Marami na akong ganong narinig na story sa tagal ko na sa industry. I've been in the industry for the past 12 years. And yun yung proud of ako sa company namin, sa Driven, that you know there's an office, anything happens, uh, mawala ka man, umalis ka man ng, uh, ng bansa pagbalik mo rito, meron ka pa rin makukuha sa amin kung talagang kailangan or we can even, you know, process it for you kahit nandun ka sa abroad, di ba? So, ganun yung mangyayari, di ba? So, yeah, that's what you can do. You can contact me through through Driven. You can join our company, Driven Marketing Group. So, this is my time to promote our company. Pwede yun. We handle Metro Manila, Cavite, Laguna, and Bulacan. That's the main. And then we have um, branches in Pampanga, in Rizal, and in Batangas, Lipa, it to be exact. Ayun. So we can, you know, help you if this is really the, the industry that you like. Again, hindi ito dapat gusto mo lang kumita ng pera. Dapat nag enjoy ka talaga sa property, gusto mong tumitingin ng mga bahay, nagtitripping ka, sumasama ka, lumalabas ka, and then you really love helping people. Then of course, you gotta do train yourself. No, Continuously train yourself. We have continuous training program. And then eventually, dapat magkaroon ka ng PRC license. No? Kasi requirement po yan ng batas na merong PRC. Although sa amin, no, siguro wala namang nanonood na taga-PRC rito. No? Pero we always say no, na, sige mag-join ka, train ka muna. Kasi minsan, nagpalisensya ka, hindi ka naman talaga seryoso. No? So what we really do is train ka maigi. Mag-train ka ng maigi. And then when we see that you really, you're really serious about it, and ikaw rin mismo makilala mo yung sarili mo, okay, gusto ko talaga itong industry na ito, tsaka ka magpa-license. 
products. No? Kasi maganda mag-training ka muna, alam mo muna yung mga products, ganyan. And then probably try asking your friends no, kung willing silang bumili. Di ba? Um, so, you need dedication. Just like in any business, you need dedication, you need commitment. But the good thing in this industry, sa isang benta, pwedeng malaki yung kita. Pwedeng six figures agad. Alright, so if you like this video, kung meron kang natutunan, kindly subscribe in my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. And when you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that anytime that I have new updates or new videos, you will get notified through your email. So this is DJ Dimaliwat. Again, share this to the people that you feel will benefit from this. Thank you very much for watching. See you again in our next video.